Welcome. All right, do you hear a humming noise? We're having some concrete work done um, in our complex, so I don't know if they'll stop or not. But anyway, welcome back to my channel. I am Joyful J, and this is part three of working on a memory book um, of my town. So today we're painting our city hall. This is from Everglades City, and this is our city hall. And during the painting part, I'll give you a little history lesson. All right, so thank you for joining me, and I'll see you at the end. Have a good day. Thank you for sticking with me if you're this far. So the picture is mostly gray and white without a whole lot of color. Um, and I am not interested in all the details. So this is the essence of the building and not all of the detailed work of the building. I am creating um, this little memory book as a donation for a fundraiser for our local school. So let's talk about our city hall. The city hall was built by Baron Collier, who was the founder of Collier County, which is the farthest west, southwest county in the state of Florida. So Naples is in Collier County, Marco Island is in Collier County, and Everglades City is in Collier County. Back in the 20s, 1926, is when um, Baron Collier built the city hall, and Everglades City at that point in time was called Everglades, and it was the county seat. In 1960, somewhere along there, when Hurricane Donna came in and pretty much decimated Everglades City, um, the county seat was then moved to Naples, where it still is at today. Everglades City has about between four and 500 full-time residents here. And then in the wintertime, the population pops up to around 1,200 or so when the snowbirds come down to enjoy our very tropical weather. Being a very small town and very small net community, we do a lot of fundraisers. We do a lot of community activities. So this particular project that I'm working on will be a donation for Hook in the Glades, which is a annual fundraiser, fishing fundraiser, and all the proceeds will go to the to the local school. So enjoy. Thank you for stopping by. I appreciate the support. So after painting the first two pictures, I realized that I should have used a permanent marker before I started the painting process. So now after the fact, I am going in and adding a few details with a permanent marker. So the next panel that I do, I am going to actually do the permanent marker before I paint. And um, yeah. So you know what? It's always a learning process. <laughs> oh, thank you. Thank you for being with me. Have a great day. Thank you for joining me. Um, so on another post, we are going to do panel. Oops, I got to reach over here. We're going to be painting panel number three. And this is of Camellia Street Grill. And... Um, the owner is the actual host of the fundraiser. And then panel number four is the logo of Hook'em in the Glades, which is the fundraiser. And all of the fundraiser funds are going to our local school, Everglades City School. All right. Thank you for stopping by. 
and I will see you at the next posting at Joyful J. Have a blessed day. Thank you for stopping by at JB, my personal channel where I talk about my journey with Jesus, read the Bible, and it is very helpful for this channel if you subscribe, like, comment, and share. I greatly appreciate it. Have a very blessed day. Bye for now.